Hi, this is Neil at Inveritas Vino, and uh, we're just uh, finishing up a, a, a you know an evening uh, sort of uh, meal, or you know sort of in between meals of cheese and olives and uh, rosé and stuff. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the wine that we were having. Uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, thing. I didn't I didn't notice the date that was on it. Um, and uh, and so you know obviously this is 2015 and it comes in at a 2011 um, and so you know given that that I didn't notice it uh, it's a paid doc it's called Baron uh, Darignac and it was from Mariano's it's a, obviously a French wine um, you know uh, rosé probably I'm guessing probably Grenache mostly Grenache it's probably a blend of some sort I'm not sure what it is. Um, 12% alcohol by volume. Uh, I'll show you the label here. Um, so again, you know, 2015. It's a it's a four year old wine uh, that I picked up that they were selling, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, sort of the aged uh, rosés and white wines. Uh, it sort of you know affects it the same way, and a lot of it I think you know um, still learning a little bit about the chemistry of it, but has a lot to do with. Uh, with you know, so the UV radiation and just you know the age of, of the wines and you know things that happen to it over it. But uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about you know oxidation and what what that tastes like, and and the the most obvious flavor profile of that is is what uh, what you get from sherry actually, uh, which is uh, which is uh, you know a purposefully induced uh, flavor that this that what happens in this wine is not. And actually, I really enjoy. Um, sort of older white wines and older rosés, and I probably catch a lot of flack from professionals and stuff for that because it's not what the producer intended. You know, they they intend rosés to be drunk within the first, you know, two years or something like that. And you know, um, most white wines, you know, in about the same. Uh, so, you know, I mean, the flavor of it, you know, it's got this sort of, um, you know, it's a I mean, it's not like a vinegary way, but it's, I mean, it's it's an oxidation, uh, you know. I mean, honestly, you try any sherry, uh, especially, a, you know, a fino, uh, not so much, I mean, a little bit of cream, but, uh, you know, in cream sherries, but uh, more in fino sherries, or the drier sherries. Have this, you know, and that's the oxidation. It's 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 when, uh, you know, oxygen gets in there, reacts with the, uh, with the, the different components in the wine, and it just creates this really sort of aged, ripe wine flavor. Um, and um, I, it's just really enjoyable to me. Uh, I, I actually really, really just enjoy that. Um, and so, you know, this this was uh, Baron Darnyak again in Mariano's here in Chicago. Um, you know, it was a uh, it was on sale. Obviously, they realized that and tried to you know try to unload it. Um, you know, and it was, I think six or seven dollars, uh, you know, for this wine, uh, we get a couple of rosés and, um, I'm actually kind of liking it. Uh, you know, my girlfriend here didn't like it so much. It's not surprising. Uh, it's not what's intended. Uh, a lot of people would throw it out, uh, you know, taste the first sip, say it's bad, say it's a faulty wine and throw it out because it's too old. I actually really enjoy them both in white wines, uh, and in rosés. So, uh, I just thought I'd mention that, um, and you know that that's that's about it for that. Um, I do have a new job at uh, Pastoral here in Chicago, um, mostly at the cheese counter. I'm doing charcuterie, cheese, and uh, and and a little bit of wine pairing in between the two. I'm learning a lot. Uh, really, really fabulous company. Uh, it's going to have a long, very successful life. Um, and uh, and so if you want to come down and visit me. Uh, you're welcome to do so, and uh, so I'm on Twitter at Neil underscore Ver or uh, in underscore Veritas underscore Vino. Um, that's on Twitter, and then uh, Neil at in dash Veritas dash Vino dot com for email.